for about the past 30 years, women have been graduating from law school in equal numbers to, to men. We know that we enter the workforce at about 50%. Um, but if you look at key leadership positions, and by that we mean equity partnerships, general counsel positions, tenured law school faculty, you'll see that women are represented only in about the 15 to 16 percent mark. Part of Knoll's mission is to raise the number, in fact double the number, of women in these key leadership positions. Knoll really is um, an organization that strives to provide valuable resources for women in law firms, corporations, government, and academia. We really aim to have programs that reach women at all different levels of their career. NAW has programs for lawyers at every stage of their career. One year before the annual, we had a dinner, and there were six women sitting at a table. One from New York, Chicago, Miami, Minneapolis, Dallas, and San Bernardino. That's networking at its best. Being in a room full of wonderful, dynamic, warm, supportive women is motivating and it's inspiring. And I go back to my workplace and I feel inspired by the stories that I hear, by the support that I've received, by the information that I get being around um, professional women. It offers the camaraderie that a lot of women lawyers need in order to advance in their careers. We put together a very helpful, succinct report called the Null um, Summit Report, which is available on our website, that gives a list of best practices um, for law firms who are looking to help promote its women leaders within the ranks. I'm really honored to be here this evening on behalf of the National Association for Women Lawyers, whose president, Lisa Horowitz, is seated behind me as I speak. And we are here today to urge your vote in support of the confirmation of Judge Sotomayor to be an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. The Knoll Foundation was formed less than two years ago with the mission of doing research on advancement of women in the law and research and education projects for women's rights. We asked law firms of their top 10 rainmakers, how many are women? And it was just astounding to me that almost half the firms in the AMLA 200 have no women at all among their top rainmakers. My hopes for Noel in the future are that we will be and continue to be the voice for women in the law, that we will collaborate, whether it be with individuals or sister organizations, to advance women in the profession and women's interests in and under the law. I really want NAL to be the go-to organization for the promotion and retention of women in the law.